Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series video. This time we've got another exclusive um, to somewhere in the US. I can't remember where this one is either. Um, this could be a target as well. Sort of, sort of less and less now that the, now that Toys R Us is gone and Toys R Us is about to go down here by the sounds of things. So um, yeah, Target might be the main place for exclusives over in the States. Um, and if Toys R Us goes here, then there's probably nowhere for exclusives anymore. So, but there's plenty of outlets online to get them. And this one comes from Robot Kingdom. So, very happy to have this one. It's a fantastic figure. Um, the Gamorrean Guard from the Vintage Collection was actually one of my favourite figures, and still is one of my favourite figures of all time. And uh, yeah, Hasbro have really done a good job of bulking that one up to the uh, six-inch scale. He even needed a bigger box. So some nice artwork on there again, as always. Not numbered. Just a bit of a read up there is again. Now this is one we'll definitely be getting a second one off. Cause uh yeah, you gotta have more than one Gamorian guard. You gotta. It's just it's got to be that way. Just, I got, I, managed, I lucked out and got three of the vintage collection ones after they, I remember from, uh, it must have been 2011 or, or early 12. And it must have, been, must have been mid to late 2011. The uh, the wave that the Gamorrean Guard was in was wave, wave two or three of the vintage collection back then. Uh, never actually got released here for about another year and a half. And... I was extremely lucky that I just happened to walk into a store and found three. Um, I can't remember if I found them at different times or the same time, but yeah, I was very lucky to go grab multiples of that guy. Um, yeah, he's such a good figure. And this one is just absolutely incredible. Um, he's a solid, pretty, pretty solid piece of plastic. Um, some great detailing with this one. The weapons he comes with he comes with this staff which I, I like this staff um but he also comes with two axes so just move him out of the way so the uh vintage collection had the same thing it came with a selection of weapons came with two axes plus the pipe force pike i guess it is so we could just got that sort of small hatchet sort of axe and uh this sort of bigger execution style axe Nicely weathered on them too. There's a bit of detailing on the edge of the blade. It's a bit rusty, so it may not be the cleanest cut. But uh, yeah, I like this. I really like this weapon. It's just something different. It's cool. But uh, I'm gonna try and pop it out of his hands for the purpose of the review, just so we can look around him a little bit better. He's got quite thick, stiff joints. Try not to use those two words in a sentence too often, but go. Let's get a close up of this guy's face. What a beast! Now the uh, difference here is the vintage collection one had his uh, his sort of protective helmet, sort of hat thing come off, whereas this one it's fixed to his head. But we get the bonus of having an opening mouth. So you can really have this guy belting out some tunes or, you know, it looks like he's birch, belching. So that's, that's really cool. I, I, I really like that they've done that. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> looks great. But just all these sort of silver armor bits are fantastic. Down to the gauntlets on his arms. The details of his sort of undershirt there, nicely weathered. You sort of see through the wrinkles. And the sort of emblem there on his chest, under the belts. Belts are nicely detailed as well. Just look on the top of his head. So he's got this sort of worn leather look to the part of his hat there. More of that, more of that cool, nice wash detailing on the back of that shirt there. So these guys don't really clean their clean their uniforms very often at all. 
A furry bulk of uh, cloth here, which is, you know, it's a nice fur. It's not um, the vintage versions, almost almost like a hair, and they tend to they tend to fray, and you can pull it out quite easily. Whereas this is, it's like a piece of um, like good quality fur fabric. If you sort of see underneath there, it's nothing under the you haven't seen before. These big Gamorian nappy or diaper. It's a big Gamorian butt. <laughs> These massively monster bulky thighs, muscly legs. These sandals. And these are. Uh, just regular human toes. <laughs> this is a, this is a really good figure. I'm I can't wait to get a get a hold of another one. But just yeah, just look at that face. Really nicely painted. One thing they did with the vintage one is they had like a clear gloss sort of around the mouth, so it almost looked like you are uh, salivating or drooling a little bit. And they've sort of used a bit of a gloss, but not in the same way. But if you've got a clear gloss, you'd be able to put something on that like that easy. But yeah, just such a good figure. He looks so good with um, Jabba. And I've got Jabba, Slave Leia, a couple other bounty hunters. He looks, looks great on that shelf. So definitely can't recommend this one enough. Again, just a really solid, nicely put together figure. One that's been on the list for a long time. We've finally got it. So yeah, articulation goes. As far as that goes, we've got the ball jointed head. We've got the jointed mouth, as I shared before. Ball in shoulders and elbows. Ball in wrists. Um, he's sort of got the joint at the bottom of the belly. Uh, he's got the hip joints. You can sort of see... This sort of plastic diaper sort of hangs down a little bit, but that's okay. The double joints in the knees and ball hinged in the ankles. So yeah, really nicely articulated. Just uh, this is just an all-round figure. This is definitely one of the finest that they've done, and uh, yeah, definitely recommend picking this one up. Um, check out RobotKingdom.com. Um, I'm not sure what their shipping prices are like down to the US. Um, they feel like they they feel like they're a little bit to Australia, but by the time you pay for their price of figure plus shipping, it works out to be what they'd be at retail here anyway. So it works out okay, and um, I'm just happy to have the opportunity to be able to get these figures that otherwise aren't going to be in retail here more than likely. Um, so yeah, thank you, internet, for you know, making things possible where they're otherwise not, so. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure. Um, I'm, I'm blown away by it. Um, sort of sat there and looked at it for a little while the other night and I was just, just playing around with it and, you know, it looks really good. I'm really, really impressed. So yeah, as I mentioned in my last video, you can find me on Instagram at the Force of you, Jesse and Facebook.com forward slash the Force of you, Jesse. Come and track me down there if you want to have a chat. Um, yeah, come and give me a follow and like the page. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. So until then, guys, may the Force be with you.